Good day YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to program in Visual Basic and C Sharp. Oh my god. <clears throat> and let's see, I'm just going to check my Okay. I don't need roller coaster tycoon right now. Okay. Let's just get started. Today we're going to be going through what is called an integer, string, and a list of. So let's just get right into it. Oops, I knew that would happen. Okay, let's see here. First of all, in Visual Basic, you just type in dim. That's to declare your string. Let's just name it str string equals hello. And our integer, which we'll call int as integer. Okay, as you can see, a string is a um, line of text so yeah you can type in whatever you want here hello world I want to see you all and an integer is a number let's type 699 let's just do this for just for the sake of it I'll give you and it's oh sorry I just have to put that under there so string and hugs me dot text this just sets the text of the form so do a str like that. Run the application. There is a hello world. Glad to see you all. I'll give you 699 hugs. Okay, let's do the same for the C sharp here. And this is a bit more. What should I say? Like, you can do more with C sharp than you can with Visual Basic. So, let's just make our integer first. And in, in um, C sharp, you start with your declaration as the first. Like, here you can see dim i as integer. In C sharp, we start with int. Oh, yeah, sorry. In C sharp, integer is just int, so let's name it int equals 699. Oops, 699. And as you can see here, we get a red line. Why is that? That is because you need one of these behind it. That just means that I the the line ends here go to the next okay and the green line just means that it's never been used as you can read there the value ints is assigned but the value is never used string str equals hello world glad to see you all I will give I'll go give oh whoa See you. <laughs> Hello world, that's you. I'll give you plus in the string plus hugs. Oops, and again I forgot that one. We don't whoops this. In Visual Basic, it's me, 
but in C sharp it's this Text equals string. Let's just end it like that. Whoops. Str. There. Let's run the application. Just save it like that. Run it, and there we go. It's a bit different because I forgot one space there. As you can see here, they look completely, completely the same. Okay, no more typos here. Okay, one one typo, but yeah. That's all for integer and strings. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get list string equals new list. And just to tell that it's string again, and we're going to close it like that. Whoops, I forgot to give it a name. List of string. List of string dot add. Oh well. Hello. And close it there. <laughs> Whoops. No, let's just use our string that we created there. Um, yeah. Now to show it. For each uh, string this is in list of strings message box that show and ss like that. Okay, let's run it. There we go. And just to do this another way whoops forgot to close it like that let's just add a button and it's really easy this part so I hope you understand it like that and I'll click the button and there we go and now to visual basic it's a lot easier here so let's just hop right into it Didn't List of string as new list of string list of whoops list of string add str for each ss a string in list of string search box ss just to do the same thing as we did with the other form here, add a button like that, and like that, and click it. Hello world, glad to see you all. I will give you 699 hugs. That's it for this um, programming tutorial. Leave a favorite if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you next time in my crazy tutorials.